Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a plan with me video for you today and this week is a special one because it is my first personal size planner plan with me. I have been getting quite a few requests to do a video on this planner, so here it is. Let me just take my planner out of the book really fast. This week I am using a two-page kit from It's Planning Time. This is one of her fab $5 Friday kits and I thought it was really summery and bright, which is a nice contrast to all of the girly spreads I've been doing in May. These are the washi tapes that I chose for this week. They are from the Recollections brand at Michael's and I've been in love with them. I love the watercolor and all the colors, so I've been using them a lot in my spreads. The first thing I'm doing is putting down the washi at the bottom. I didn't rip it with the card this time, I just ripped it with my hands. One, because I was lazy and the other reason is actually really, I did this last week and I really like the way that it looks. Just more fun and casual, I guess, not so put together, which I like. The Make Today Amazing washi was a little bit long, so I ripped it and put it, I guess I layered it on top of each other. Then I'm using the dots to mark all of my classes since there are just a couple of event stickers there, not enough for all of my classes, and I do like the way that that turned out. And then I put a Test Today sticker for my midterm on Monday. Now I'm just writing down lecture or midterm next to all of the dots. The next thing I'm doing is putting an appointment label on top of my lecture on Tuesday because I had homework due, and I'm just writing that in. Then, zooming in a little, I put down a bill due sticker on Tuesday to remind myself to pay my credit card bill, and then I used a money flying away emoji sticker that Josh made for me because, as you guys know, I did a lot of shopping in April and the beginning of May, actually, and last week. I totally broke my controlled spend, but I think it was totally worth it. You'll see what I got in my next few hauls. Wow, this is going so fast. I actually was pl planning so fast for this spread because I was in a hurry to get to class. At least on Monday and Tuesday, I was planning really fast because I was in a hurry to get out the door in the morning. If you have any questions on what stickers I use that I didn't mention, please leave it down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you. The edit and upload stickers are from Obsessed with Cute, as many of you guys probably already know. Most of the stickers I used are from the kit, actually. It's just like the icons that are not from the kit. So like the coffee sticker is from Little Dog Paper Co. This laptop sticker that I just put down is from Lily Henry. The test today sticker is from Sweet Kwai Design and the coffee sticker on top of Monday is from Mila Print Shop. Moving on to Wednesday, I'm like talking so fast trying to keep up with my planning. I sped this up the same way that I speed up my normal plan with me's in my Erin Condren, which is like four times the speed. I guess it's like a smaller planner and so it's quicker to plan. But I put down a quotation sticker at the beginning of Wednesday because I was just feeling like the midweek struggle. So I then put down an ice latte sticker with the icon that came with the kit. The nail polish sticker is from Christian Designs. Grocery sticker is from Grit Sparkles. And wine sticker is from Thumbprints Co. Yeah, I totally put buy wine in my planner. Hashtag priorities. Moving on to Thursday, I had a reading quiz due, so I used the Quiz Today sticker from Sweet Quiet Design, and then I put an important flag on top of it. Again, I was feeling the midweek struggle, so I put Stay Positive because I was just really having a hard time. Like, I was just so tired, I guess. I really like that It's Planning Time includes these motivational stickers in her kit. I think they're just so nice for putting throughout the planner when you're kind of having a hard time and stuff. I put down the scalloped half box, which I love, and a laptop and coffee sticker because I needed to work on my programming assignment. The birthday sticker is from Planner Frenzy. Then I put the meal sticker from Stickers Washi and More next to a flag to mark where I was gonna eat dinner. Moving on to the end of the week, I am doing the washi again the same way that I did it previously. So I'm not going to go too in-depth on how I use this planner, but these inserts are from Homemade Craft on Etsy, and they are the personal size notebook, and I house them in my Foxy Fix Blackout in petite number four. That's the name of the size. 
I am planning on doing a planner setup video talking about the current planners I'm using. So that's when I'll go more into detail about how I use this planner and all of that good stuff. Now on Friday, I used a latte sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design, laptop sticker again from Lily Henry, and I wanted to mark that I needed to work on my programming assignment all day since it was due Friday night. But I ended up using another cheat day, so it was actually due on Saturday night. Now on Saturday, I'm putting down an event sticker because Shop Jessica Hearts was reopening on Saturday at 9 a.m. And I have been loving her stickers lately. I've been seeing them in a lot of hauls. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I am purchasing. So I totally purchased. I used a Creative Kyo, the money, like take my money emoji sticker because that's exactly how I felt. I mean, I didn't order that much, but... You know, I'm supposedly on a controlled spend right now. Anyway, after I turned in my programming assignment, I wanted to use a wine o'clock sticker, which I love, because I wanted to just relax and watch TV and wine down, if you will. Then on the Sunday box, I just put finish plan with me's with a planner sticker that came with the kit. It's really cute. And I'm going to move on to the grid page that's at the end of every week so i have been playing around with different things with this grid page it's kind of hard to plan just a blank page i mean it really tests your creativity this week i decided to use the triple heart checklist as a bunch of different list of things that i wanted to get done during the weekend so i used the weekend banner at the top and that was from sweet quiet design it's part of her spring color theme i'm not sure if that's the actual name but it's really cute. I thought the colors match pretty well. So I have a to clean list, a to do list, and a plan list using that cute planner, which is basically things I wanted to get done for my YouTube, Instagram, and racks to planner girls. So that, that was the three to do's that I'll later put down. Then I'm just kind of decorating a little bit because there's a lot of empty space around and it looks kind of weird. So I just played around with the washi tape because I love it. And I love the Hello Sunshine one. Like, I think that one's my favorite. I love the font, and it's just so bright and happy. Now I'm just filling things in on the to-do list. I put down laundry, trash, dishes, and then I put an arrow sticker there for laundry because I wanted to make an extended to-do list for the loads of laundry that I had to do. And then I put down a mail sticker that came with the kit. I ended up moving the arrow there for laundry though because I found that there was a trash sticker on the kit as well and I wanted to use it up. So then I just moved it down at the bottom after I put down the four remaining dots for the loads of laundry that I wanted to do. So much laundry, seriously. I haven't even folded it yet, honestly. I just, it's like all in a pile on my bed right now. But I did a bunch of laundry and then at the top I put down a to-do list. But then I like couldn't think of stuff that I had to do that wasn't cleaning. Like I also needed to clean my makeup brushes and my makeup. So I just put that there with the brushes sticker from Sweet Quiet Design. And then I also wanted to meal prep on Sunday. So I put down a meal prep sticker that fortunately came with the kit. Now I'm just adding some last minute touches and switching things around. And that is about it for this plan with me. I know it was a little fast. I think next time I'll probably speed it up less, if that makes sense. Like two times the speed instead of four times. But now I'm just putting it back into my Foxy notebook. Let me show you guys the stickers I have left over in the kit. And that is it. That's how my week turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more personal size plan with me's. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.